Main Chick versus Side Bitch. Chapter 9. Dwayne. Yo, dog. <laughs> I heard your wifey bossed up on you today for a while. I was in my new whip talking to my brother, but somehow everybody in the hood knew about Kiki getting me this new Benz. That's why she my bottom bitch, bro. She always come through, and she know how to treat a nigga. I was on my way home to her right now. After a long day at the shop, I was usually tired, but tonight I couldn't wait to get off and get back into my new car. I had to go to see my baby and show my motherfucking whip off. The last time I saw Kiki, she was throwing bottles of perfume at a nigga. And today, I thought she was on some bullshit, but instead, she was on some bullshit. I love that bitch, but I'm on heart for doing some shit like this. <laughs> Man, he a sucker for money, ass nigga. My brother laughed, but I didn't see no bitches pulling up to his job with no new cars. Whatever, nigga. I'm at the crib. I'll hit you later. Alright. I hung up on him right from the steering wheel as I pulled up into the condo. I hadn't been back in a week, and it felt good to finally be back home. Being an Arian was, was cool, but Kiki knew how to treat a nigga. From the shit she bought me, to her cooking and her pussy fit my dick just right, it felt like I was at home every time I stepped through the door, like I was the king of the castle. At Arian's, I was just playing house. As I hopped out my bins, I felt like a new man. Honey, I'm home. I screamed as I used my key. This house was the place I felt most at home besides at my mom's crib. I'm in the bedroom. The smell of a home-cooked meal hit me as I walked through the house. Meeting my queen in the bedroom was the least I could do. What you heard doing, baller? I joked with her, picking her up. What the hell was all that about? We kissed as I pulled her in. I wanted to ask her earlier, but I was too busy trying to keep the peace between her and Arian. And it was no mystery that Kiki had money and some good-ass credit, so whatever she wanted to buy, she could. But for her to do this after not seeing her for a week, I wasn't expecting that shit. Well, I was waiting to tell you this, but I made partner. The dollar signs were calculating in my head. Damn, baby, you serious? Man, congrats, boo. I picked her up, twirling her around the room. Yeah, baby, we can do all the things we've ever wanted. I'm so sorry about last week. I've just, I've been really stressed out. She poked her lip out, wrapping her arms around me like a little kid. <sighs> Babe, don't worry about that shit, all right? We just, we just gonna stick it out, you know, get over whatever we got going on. Especially now. Since she was a partner at one of the most prestigious law firms in the city. Shit, it might be one of the most prestigious law firms in the country. Baby, I just want us to have a fresh start. Let's start off fresh. I wanted the same thing. If she wasn't asking no questions, then I wasn't saying shit about where I've been for the last week. So, so what you want to do, boo? You want to go celebrate or what? I twirled her around. She laughed and giggled, but she stopped me and sat me down. More than anything, Dwayne, I want us to take advantage of this opportunity. We need to get more shops. I rolled my eyes at that shit. Kiki didn't understand how much work having a shop was. Key, that's a lot of work. I'm not going to be able to cut hair if I'm doing all of that. And that's when she smiled. That's my point. You need to switch up with what you're doing, and that includes fucking these hoes. Shit. I hope she didn't turn this shit into an argument. Baby, we could talk about all of that. Whatever you want to do, I'm with it. But I'm proud of you, girl. That was the truth. I had seen Kiki work her ass off at the firm. Now she was a partner. A young black woman was partner, and she was my woman. Baby, I want to go ahead and get married and take this thing to the next level. My heart shook when she said that. I thought about my baby's mama and how they would act if I got married. They didn't know I was engaged. Shit, I didn't even tell them tricks I was with anybody. The less they knew about me, the better. Boo, we can handle all that. Look, here, like, tonight, we just gonna celebrate, all right? Go ahead and change so we can go. I felt like taking my baby out for a spin, and I meant the new Benz and Kiki. My baby needed to be seen, both of them. For real, boo, like, 
shit, I, I got to take a shower. But go ahead, girl. Go get in and make it quick. Okay. She smiled from ear to ear, giving me a kiss and jumping up and going to the bathroom. But her purse fell over, knocking everything on the floor. It's cool. I got it, boo. Go ahead. Get ready. She smiled at that as I bent down to pick up the contents of her purse. It was the same shit every chick has in her purse. Lipstick, car keys, a wallet. But the last thing laying on the floor was a card. Looking at it closer, I saw it wasn't just no card, but a motherfucking hotel key. The water was already running in the shower, and I could hear her shutting the shower doors. But I didn't give a fuck. I wanted to know what this shit was. Yo, when you ever been to the Grand Laurie Hotel? I asked her, showing her the room key through the shower glass door. Ah, oh, babe, that was from Tisha's bachelorette party. You know her and Tony are going to Vegas and getting married this weekend. I was pissed, ready to explode until she reminded me of that. Ah, oh, okay, okay, that's what's up. Her phone rang, cutting our conversation. Baby, can you answer that for me? I did, she said, going to her desk, back in the bedroom and answering. Hey, what's up, Dwayne? Where my girl at? Speak of the devil, it was Tisha. The only one of Kiki's friends that I actually thought was cool. She in the shower, T. Uh, congrats on the wedding. I forgot you was about to tie the knot. Thanks, hon. So, when you gonna make it official with my girl? She laughed and made me wish I would have never answered the phone. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. If you have her a bachelorette party like yours, then I don't know if we getting married. I laughed, but Tisha was quiet as a church mouse. The line went silent like she hung up. Hello? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't believe in bachelorette parties. I looked at the key still in my hand. So you didn't have nothing at the Grand Laurie? Kiki told me. Before I could get the whole sentence out, Tisha was cutting me off. Oh, yeah. My bad, bruh. I thought you meant bridal shower or something. Yeah, we had a super time. Something didn't sound right, but the shower went off, and I heard Kiki getting out. Uh, all right then, uh, here you go, your friend. I handed Kiki the phone, still with the room key in my hand. Something didn't feel right, and the shit damn sure didn't sound right. Tisha was a nurse. She didn't just forget shit. She damn sure heard everything I said, but I didn't say shit. I pulled out the Benz keys in my pocket, staring at them motherfuckers, thinking about all the shit me and Kiki been through over the years. She wouldn't dare cheat on you, I told myself, and I prayed that shit was true, because if this bitch had me out here looking crazy, I was gonna kill her ass, and I meant that shit from the bottom of my motherfucking heart.